and I am dead. After I have done my family members for so many years, now my family member is delusional. So, my family member says, hey, I feel like or I think or I believe whatever, the government is trying to kill me. Then I will say, why? Why do you feel that way? Why do you think like that? Why do you believe that? And then once they start giving me the information, then that's when I will help them gather the information because I am a thinker. I am also an investigator. Do you know that California, and by the way, has five on top on my driver's, on my California driver's license, at the end, the last three numbers, 007, which is WL7, and I already know what my whole California number means. I've been knowing that for years. Soon as they give it to me, you know, I played with it like that. But they know the WL7 is for harm or bit. And the WL7, the seven, the two O's should be together to make, to form a circle. And then you take the seven and you put it in there. And that is Prophet Noble 2, the Circle 7 book. Are they, you are reading that Circle 7 book right now today. That is not the one he wrote. Same way with my other books. They change. Although the scripture says I change not. Shit. They change all that shit. Well, not all of it. But they changed it because once they kill proper noble true and they kill my Abba off and all this kind of shit, they already set up Quantel Pro to come in and to already put things in place to have it the way that Quantel Pro wants it, the Illuminati wants it, whoever the fuck these pink people with patents are wanting or pink people with other goddamn money. Whichever way they want it, that's the way it is going to be. If not, then where is all the land in Chicago when proper noble true was there? And where is so-called Black Wall Street, it is gone, it has fucking disappeared, there is another building there, and then that motherfucker say, oh, it's just business, I don't think so. Then, my Abba, where is all our gold? Where is all our estate? Where is our school? Where are our children that were going to school? The students, where are all our businesses? Where is all this shit? Since these people have been coordinated, re, 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 Incarnated in them, and there is no such thing as re incarnate. All you do is incarnate. If you re incarnate different birth, you will remember who you was, how you died, where you were, and when you got there, then you will have a reincarnation. There is no such thing as a reincarnation, only an incarnation, and they did not incarnate in those bodies if they did. Then where is all our land? Where is all our estates? Where is all our gold? Where is all our oil? Everything that was done in Tosla, Oklahoma, by the way, in Tosla, it says USA and OK. You know, meaning that it was okay for them to bomb the fuck out of us because nobody would do anything about it. Because once they bombed the fuck out of us, we were all terrorized. And now, here they come, the pink man. Then let them in to the fucking rescue. You know, Red Cross, the blood that we shed, they wear around their neck and help us wear it around our neck. It's a fucking Red Cross now. So now we go to Red Cross and now there's neuro linguistic programming they are giving to us and we never build again. We don't even have our own businesses. You know? And then, do you know how much money is in recycling and shit? I mean, and then there are other people who recycle, and they don't care if you use their ideals because you're recycling. That's all they want. They just want you to recycle. Do you know how much money is in recycling? Do you know how much we can put China out of business if we made our own motherfucking shit? You know? Do you know we can take our children and each other and put on our own place? I mean, I have plans for all that shit. Finally, my children are old enough. And all of them can be in the place. That pink man said. That script, that negro bitch over there is ready. Tear it up. Now, we will write her script for her. Because we are the pink man. Paper 
in ink. Now we will begin to write the script of her life. So now we have put her to stay because they have put me into the twilight zone. You know, the stimulated world more than once. Somehow I got the fuck out this time. I just could not get out. No matter where I went, I still wind up in the same fucking place. But this time I'm staying. Yeah. My daughter will have to leave me. I am not leaving my daughter. My daughter will have to leave me. So, because she is the only one I have left, my son. My son will have to leave me. I don't care how the handler has my son always forgetting about me. I am talking to him about that. Maybe I can break the barrier of the motherfucking handler who has buried my son. You know, barrier. Somewhere, you know, you can spell bear, B A R has the ear, the hell has my son. My son forgets about me, but he still does not disrespect me, like curse me out or anything. Uh, my daughter, mm, sometimes she can be on the wire, but she's never on the wire with me, so. And then if that does occur, which they have tried, if that does occur for her to be on the wire with me, then I will not be on the wire with her, you see. So, I just set the fuck up Grit and Barry, you know, because that is my daughter and I'm not going to allow them um, to take her, the last daughter I have from me, although she is my third daughter. But I, technically, she's my fourth daughter, so she is the foundation. My third daughter, she, um, she died. So... I'm not going to leave her as I know they want that's what they want me to do so that she can be by herself because I will be with my son my son will be with me because I need my son my son needs me and when people need each other you know you know there's a song it says um people people who need people are the but they use the word lucky but I have changed it to are the greatest people in the world. People who need, well, I have to even change the word peoples because this is where their music is fucking us up. Neuro linguistic programming is not just to you hear against the rap song, that's all you listen to, and now you're against the rapper. No. It keeps us in two words like the word people. In the word people, it's hidden the word pope. That is to keep us under some form of a religion, you see. Because the Catholic religion started in 107 AD. And it was the first bona fide religion. And that is what everyone was into. That was the only religion it was until Martin Luther came along. And then Martin Luther he did not exactly go for, you know, babies being baptized when they are newborn. You know, he, he felt like to be baptized, you should be able to make a choice. But still religion, no, you know, no matter what, still religion. And then someone disagreed with something with both of them and other religions. And the Catholic people used to kill the fuck out of you if you did not go along with their religion. I mean, they had things that they would put the females in and the children, male and female, as long as they were little children, babies even. And the females, they put them in this thing together. It is like a net, you know? And it, um, you would think it's something like a cherry picker, you know, but it's all wood. And it has a thing that goes out like that. And then there's like a rope that goes down. And there's the net and all the females and the children will be in there. And they will dump them in the water. And leave them down there and then bring them up. And then dump them in the water again. And do you know that the babies, if, you know, like they were newborn, lived, they outlived all of them because they would bring them up and some would be dead, drowned already, and some would only be able to catch their brother, be so weak. And then there was that guy, his name is Grossman. 
I think his name is Colonel or General Grossman. Dead man grossed me the fuck out. He, um... Damn, what was I just talking about? It is how he teaches. Come on, bro. It is going. Oh well, I'll watch this video and I'll get it and then I'll talk about it. Whatever, they can snatch whatever out of my head, whatever. I'm just gonna still talk shit. That's my name. Now they change it themselves to Anunnaki Shit Talker. And I don't know how Anunnaki got there. But it was only supposed to be Shit Talker on this page. Not Anunnaki and Shit Talker together. So now they are together. So I'm just an Anunnaki Shit Talker. Anunnaki's are aliens. I am an alien. And I'm talking shit. And I'm gonna keep talking shit until the day I fucking die. Now, all this, this, he is very honest and open, but his rap songs and his energy, and so now they put him somewhere where he is scared to death. Hmm. You don't have to be scared to death of jail. I was scared to death of jail. I was so scared. The first time I went, I just cried and cried. Even after the judge ordered the turnkeys to go back to the jailhouse, bring me my things, because I was not going back to the jailhouse, then I could change my clothes and I can leave and go home. I cried until I got home. When I walked in my door, I stopped. I was at home, and I kept going, <laughs> You know, because they cry so much. Wow, I'm surprised I don't stutter. You know? So, then, when Florida put a one out for me, I was like, okay, fuck you bastards, I'm tired of you now. So, I went in, I was not afraid. Shit, that's when I heard all the motherfucking ringing. I thought it was because... It was so fucking hard. You know, everything in there is hard. That's a hard hearted motherfucker who orchestrated and calculated that shit. It's like going into a cave, living with furniture inside a cave. He needed more than what they say he needed. He just needed his family to help him. He needed his family to listen. And that's mostly what he is saying. He just needed them to listen to him. And I was always writing letters. I was writing letters, you know. I'm saying if anything happened to my husband, you know, I'm suing. People trying to kill him. Anything happened to my husband, I'm suing. Now she's sitting there saying that this is her husband. And he was with many different girls. Even with pink chicks. But she is happy to say he was her husband by saying she was part of his family. She's saying, you know, she will probably be known from now on. Oh, that is um, old dirty bastard's wife. They will say, oh, that's Russell's wife. That's old dirty bastard's wife. They were hurting him in there. And then they go somewhere else. They did not allow her to tell us how they were hurting him. How they we find bits and pieces of how they were hurting him. Someone even says that he burned himself up. What the who? A hundred dollars worth of cocaine in his car is worth going to a max prison. See? Listen closely to what he just said. They put. Russell inside prison to implant fear into him. Why? Yes. They already had implanted the chip. And now they need to put fear into him. Well, if he was so damn scared in there, how come nobody bust him in his ass? No one. The, the guards jumped him. Even some that uh, they took him out and he went somewhere. And these were people who had on plain clothes. And they jumped him too, and someone burned him up. He did not burn himself up. But these people will tell us that he did, and 
you will believe these people because these people, they knew of him, but they did not know him. If they knew him, I mean, nobody wants to go to jail. You know what I'm saying? Nobody wants to go to prison. But he did not have fear of going to prison. I mean, I listened to him. Mm. They show some parts of him being in prison. He never said, oh, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I didn't see the fear there. So he did not fear it. You see? It says sun. And then there's a plant. You see? Also, plain. Like you plan something? Plain. Like plain? Not plan, but plain. And air. Yeah. So they needed to plant things in his air, but what they did was they um, gave him a, um, they lobotomized him. That's what they did. I don't know, they lobotomized him to try to like, reprogram that chip or whatever, because he does not know either. He just know that they lobotomized him. That's what he is saying, okay? And I guess somewhere, then I worry, after they lobotomized him in jail, after they lobotomized him, that's when he began to gain all the weight. Now, where were the Wu-Tang? He, he never did say they came, and there's no video. Now they say he wanted to commit suicide. See, that is the thing. He, he, they commit suicide. No. Since, I guess he burned himself up. Let's see what he says. He's never been to jail before in his life, and then he goes for four years. Wow. Like yeah, he was sweet. He said he believed him. Now, they wanted him to commit suicide. This is what they do, and since they put him in there, I guess he got burned up or whatever, and um, they made it appear as though he wouldn't try to commit suicide. Uh, that is what they do. So once he comes out, then they wanted to appear that he is back on drugs, and I have yet to find a video where he is doing drugs once he got out, you know. So he now he is losing the weight from jail, and uh, and now they kill him still a suicide. You see, well, he was feared in jail. He wanted to commit suicide. Now he's out of jail. That's all he wanted to do was be out of jail because he was so scared. And now he burned himself up. He wanted to commit suicide. He was so afraid. So now he is out, and now he is doing what he wants to do. He is doing music, and. He was supposed to do um, a show with Wu Tang, I think. Or his last show was with Wu Tang, or his last show would have been with Wu Tang. And all of a sudden, he goes back to the 316 bus, and boom, he is dead. Now, someone said earlier he complained of chest pains. So now, the one who is bringing the income to all of you. Is complaining of chest pain, and then you let him roam and wander off by himself at his mom's head because he took his mom on a Mother's Day, and then there were two young girls there. His mom didn't like that, but his mom said he appeared to not like to be by himself. Only when he was in his room did he enjoy being by himself, and in his room he said. It was like, it was um, serenity, you know, it was so serene in his room, because he was there in his mind, you know, and he was able to organize things, but once he went out of that room to try to talk with people, he could never have a serious conversation, so now I guess he's going to tell us some of the things that, um, Russell told him, and he said he believed him. You see, I don't believe the hype. You have to prove it to me. Oh, Daddy never went to jail before, and now he's doing four 
years in prison because he had a hundred dollars worth of cocaine and he had a bulletproof vest because he thought they was going to kill him and now yeah, they did not kill him what they did was take him and put him somewhere where everyone said he was also scared and he was set on fire i'm not going to say he did it he was set on fire and he was also um given a lobotomy but no one actually knows that because he did not actually know until um maybe a couple of days before they killed him you know he started to see things and he said in one of the shows he did he said that he can see things that other people cannot so i can really give it that because i can see things other people cannot see too So he was sweet as Charlotte. Why would he say Charlotte? See, my folk don't know what they get themselves into, you know? He is darkly melanated. They don't know what they get themselves into. They just know now uh, there's a program for celebrity for TNF. Fuck your family. Fuck what people say. Oh yeah, you're famous. But we're not fucking you when you ask. And we have programs running all around you, and we even have you on the program. Today, they just have you on the wire. See, they beat him up. Mm -hmm. He did not set himself on fire, and he did not actually fear for his life, and no one took his ass, and no one can say they did, because that did not happen to him. So did he tell him, oh, I had to set myself on fire so I can get to the crazy house? No. That was their excuse. To now take him there, so now they can give him these drugs. More drugs. In the crazy house, that is the medical institution where you need TIs. Without a targeted individual, the medical institution would not exist. The word psychiatry, in the word psychiatry, is in the word chai, which is child. So without a child's life, there would be no psychiatrist. They are psychiatrists today, but they used to be called alchemists. They are wizards. The Illuminati use that fear, thinking that they can silence Russell, but they cannot do it. But he knew that his CTI was so short. He, T.I., to expose these people for who they really are. Yes, he did. So, as rich as he is, as rich as he was, and as famous as he was, and he was a celebrity, how come no one actually paid him attention? Because they set a program in motion to simulate the people around him so that when he speaks, they think what the handler wants them to think. And I have done enough videos for today, and this video is gone 23 minutes, and probably 24 minutes, so I will finish this shit tomorrow. Mm. Shalom. Lay him out. Shit talk out.